Hi, wrestling fans. Thanks for clicking on the Dreaded D. Rose report. Uh, you know, I couldn't believe how fast Tiffany made it down to the ring uh, uh, on ECW the other night. Uh, she attacked Rosa Mendez, if you remember. Boy, she, she looked kind of good. She looked a lot better doing that than uh, doing her managerial, which is done. All right, anyway, we got a report that uh, Hulk Hogan and his son, uh, Nick, have settled uh, the lawsuit filed against them by the John Graziano family who was seriously injured in a, as a passenger in Nick Hogan's Toyota Supra when it wrecked uh, the summer of 2007. The terms of the settlement are confidential. It's believed that Hulk Hogan settled the suit to avoid uh, media circus and trial that would have brought uh, uh, and uh, to resolve the you know, matter in a way that was painless as possible for both Hogan and the Graziano, fa Graziano family. And I'm sure that TNA didn't want any kind of bad press out of that either for Hogan. Hogan's attorney, uh, David Houston, tells TMZ that they, are, uh, they were pleased as this was uh, the best interest of John. Linda Hogan, uh, who was also sued by the Grazianos over the car wreck, reached a settlement with the family uh, last month. Again, undisclosed. F4W Online uh, says former uh, WWE diva and knockout uh, Charmel is expecting twins by her husband Booker T and somebody else, I guess. Wouldn't that the way twins work? I don't know. Uh, Chris Jericho will be co-hosting an upcoming um, Metal Music Revolver Golden Gods Award for MTV2. The show will be taped on uh, April 8th at Club no Nokia in Los Angeles, California. Well, I never heard of that. I must be way in the hell out of touch. You can't touch me, can you? Oh, anyway, as noted uh, earlier this week, qualifying matches for the Money in the Bank at next year's, uh, this year's, my fault, this year's WrestleMania was scheduled to begin uh, this coming Monday's Raw with the news from uh, yesterday that WWE is planning Money in the Bank pay-per-view for later this year. It's highly unlikely that the match will take place at this year's WrestleMania. But, still not confirmed, uh, despite previous reports and advertising for the show. One TNA uh, notes that it would uh, look like uh, an indie show because uh, there aren't enough X-Division wrestlers who are over enough to make anybody want to get the pay-per-view, I guess. They assume. Word is that the uh, X-Division will be heavily featured on the pay-per-view and Ultimate X match will still take place. Controversial footage, I don't know if you've seen that or not on TNA the other night, Contra controversial footage of Orlando Jordan and his new male companion was shown on uh, last night's Impact. No word yet if Spike or TNA, uh, if they decided uh, to air it or not, but they did air it, and the guy looks uh, cute, didn't you think? He's just darling. Anyway, the... <laughs> Correspondent at the taping said that the two didn't kiss, but Jordan's male companion put his hands all over Jordan's body and went very slowly around his crotch, which uh, Flair does some, kind of the same thing, but he does it real quick. Anyway, they're both uh, doing a bisexual gimmick with Gordon, uh, Jordan as uh, he came to the ring last night, and the new male companion and female companion. It's no secret that Jordan is really bisexual. Well, you could have knocked me over with a feather with that. Hmm. Well, what's the girl doing there then? Confused. Well, I guess bi, I guess. I was kind of bisexual myself one time when I was divorced. Every time I wanted sex, I had to go buy it. Hate that. Talk around the TNA locker room is that male, uh, the male with Jordan on last night's uh, Impact is actually a real life boyfriend. Devin sent uh, the, the following up to the internet, uh, WWE Raw on May 10th will be held at the Mellon Arena, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Chris Jericho on his uh, Twitter said yesterday that he was heading to the dentist for a root canal. Pretty painful operation uh, just days before the elimination chamber. He could have his knocked out. Might help. Anyway, the final episode of ECW on Sci-Fi this week did a 1.14 rating with uh, 1 million 400 and 45,000 viewers. Uh, by the way, check this out. I got the uh, new uh, Batista or RVD. Let me see if I got it uh, going here. Hold on, hold on. 
And you see how this RBD, uh, I got the mute on. He's hurt. Yeah. But anyway, uh, tough side of town, I think it's called. Hey, I'm back. <laughs> Didn't mean to get you. Get, this right get framed up right. WWE announced on its website that the women's champion, by the way, that movie came out this Tuesday. Uh, RVD and uh, Batista's. Wrong side of town, wrong side of the track. I don't forget what it was. Anyway, announced on a website that WWE Mickey Champ uh, champion Mickey James uh, has hired a fashion designer, Natasha Rawls of J. Joe, uh, Najo uh, Creations, to uh, for the country music concert on her debut February 22nd in Nashville. Uh, Mickey's attire. Uh, uh, the, the the girl from that place, Najo or whatever her name is, designed Mickey's attire for the 2010 Hall of Fame ceremony. So we'll see what she's wearing. See if that girl's any good. All right, what we got there? Six minutes. Okay. Uh, TNA has announced that uh, Sacrifice Pay Per View will take place on May 16th at the Impact Zone in uh, Orlando, Florida. As seen was last night on Impact, Frankie uh, Kaz, Kazarian, whatever you want to call him made his return to action without suicide gimmick. Yes, that was him. Word is that uh, Kiyoshi will uh, play the role of suicide from now on. Well, we won't be missing suicide then. See if we see any moves any different. Kurt Angle worked on uh, this week's uh, TNA Impact taping, but uh, said that he is in clearly wasn't in his, at his best. Uh, Kurt Angle is battling uh, back and calf injuries and was telling people at the taping that He's expecting to work a lighter house show schedule. And as noted before, Angle has recently asked for a lighter schedule anyway. Some TNA feels that uh, it would be right for Kurt, you know, to write Kurt off TV for a while and give him uh, time off to heal from his injuries. And friends saying Angle says he's, uh, he is struggling physically more uh, than usual right now. Wouldn't have to be something to do with age. Good thing you didn't get into MMA either. Of course, you'd have a lot of rest there. Uh, IGN.com has a new uh, interview up with uh, John Morrison. A couple of the highlights is uh, about his new DVD. Uh, the Usual Superstar DVD released a three uh, DVD uh, career retrospective uh, and uh, they're trying a new format. It's a single disc engaging in uh, things that someone can watch all at, all at one sitting. I don't know. I'm going to have to watch that and see what they're talking about. But Anyway, and then he was talking about uh, Miz mentoring, uh, uh, mentoring Daniel Bryant, or Brian Danielson. He said, yeah, when I uh, saw that, I was at the Impact, uh, or ECW taping, and uh, he said, I actually saw Miz. He said, I didn't know whether he uh, saw me or not, but he says, I said, Psst, he knows more than you do. And uh, he says, it's going to be kind of interesting to see Miz trying to help him out. Of course, it could work the other way. Matt and Jeff Hardy, by the way, posted a video online talking about uh, WWE's new uh, NXT show, which debuts Tuesday on Sci-Fi. Matt uh, says he thinks uh, NXT is a cool concept with potential. He said ECW uh, that uh, was on Sci-Fi was not the real ECW. <laughs> we didn't need that. And the guy on the roster, the guys on the roster, will wind up on Raw or SmackDown. Matt says uh, he'll be coaching Justin Angel and. Uh, Gabriel on the NXT, and he's heard that the FCW version of he's the S FCW version of AJ Styles. Uh, oh, up uh, next was uh, Jeff Hardy uh, teased that what his uh, next career move will be. Uh, he said you might need some uh, training and show up on NXT. He said he might need some training too, so he may show up on NXT. Uh, he said he might return to WWE or he could go to join Hulkamania TNA. He don't know any more than we do. Well, I just went over, but anyway, backlash is more uh, is no more. By the way, hey, I guess I better get over or uh, get over here. I went over uh, about one minute, wasn't paying no attention, so uh, I got to edit something out, make it under ten. See you later. Thanks for clicking.